everyone. Welcome to our second Ken Hub Q&A. My name is Joao, and I'm really happy that you guys join us for our second live webinar where we're going to try to answer some of the questions that you ha guys have been sending us. So it is a great pleasure that we're doing this. Now, keep in mind, I just noticed as I was starting this, this is not my pajamas, I swear. This is actually working clothes, but maybe I shouldn't be wearing them to work. Just note to self. But anyway, what I wanted to do first is thank you guys for participating on the last webinar, the very first one that we did. I saw that you guys sent us over some really nice comments and also kept sending us more questions that we're going to be able to answer today. Now, without taking any more of your time, I'm going to start with the questions. And what I'm going to do is to share with you the questions that we have here. Just first, the first question that we're going to be talking about is, or comes from Shilin from Madrid, Spain. And he asks, will you make quizzes that don't just ask about where a specific structure is, et cetera? The quizzes should test theoretical knowledge as well. Now, moving back here to show my face, um, what I can say here, Shailen, is that we do have quizzes at KenHub where we uh, go into the details, into clinical anatomy, into topography, into a lot of aspects that you need to know um, for your school, for medical school or any level of anatomy that you need to know. So, But what I would like to also do is take you guys here to uh, the website so I can quickly show you something here, a bit of how our quizzes work. So if you go from the, going back from the dashboard and pick here one of the topics on the upper extremity, say here the upper extremity, you can see the, that on this lecture we have the chapters, the shoulder and arm. And the way we do here the quizzes, uh, we take you first through Notice here these different study units, the humerus and scapula, the muscles of the arm and shoulder and so on. So all of these uh, study units that have the tags, bones, ligaments, muscles, arteries, veins, nerves, and so on. When you click on the quiz, we're going to do structure identification because structure ident ident identification, oh, tongue twister here. Identification is essentially what the first, the very first step when you're learning anatomy because you need to first know how these structures look like, where, to, where do you find them on the body, and their names. And once you do that, then you can, if we move a bit further down, you can see example of these study units, muscles of the shoulder, where here we talk about now, we have this label here, the muscle facts. Now the muscle facts are then uh, the tag that you're going to be looking for if you want to learn origins, insertions, innervations, and functions of all the muscles. If you click here on the quiz, then you can start learning those as well. Now, further, further down, this is what you're looking for, Shailen, here on the shoulder and arm. Notice for these tags with question bank. Now, this is what you're probably looking for. And these now are quizzes, a bit more advanced quizzes, where we're going to go into the details, the clinical anatomy, topography, functional anatomy as well. So all the things that you need to know about the structures that you previously learned here. And if you look for then the all these chapters, you can start seeing other question bank uh, tags that you probably want to start taking. Now, another way to find these, if you use the search func function here, if I search for shoulder, for example, interesting joint to learn about, you see all the content that we offer here, the videos, the quizzes, the atlas, and the articles specific to the shoulder. Now, a cool thing is that you can use our filter here, notice here, and if you click here, you can then find all the tags as well that are associated to the shoulder, including the question bank. So if I click here on the question bank, then the we're filtering all 
the quizzes that go into the details, those details that I talked about, and even tell you the amount of questions each quiz has, as you can see here. Uh, we're always building more and more questions, writing more and more questions, because as the name says, it's a question bank. Um, so essentially, this is it for the question here. I'm going to try to go back and forth between the screen and myself wearing a pajama. Now, what I'm going to be doing is, again, showing you here. I'm showing you the written stuff because uh, it's important that you see the written um, question so you can see what I'm reading. Now, the next question, the second question, is from uh, Mosomi, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, from the US of A. We're getting from him that, how can I easily remember the interior body landmarks? Now, this is a very interesting question about content, how we learn the interior or the landmarks that we find on the interior part of your body. Well, landmarks essentially is when you're trying to learn different parts of your body that are a bit more prominent. So if you think about the different monuments and the different um, buildings of the city, that's essentially the main parts of your body that are quite visible, palpable or noticeable. And they also have clinical importance, some of these uh, landmarks, hence the name that we gave them. Now, the first step I would say is that you start listing them. That's a basic thing. You list them, write them down, uh, the different landmarks that you find on the interior part of your body. And then you have to find fun ways to, to learn them. A fun way to do so, I would suggest doing mnemonics. So if you go through that list that you just created, that I just talked about, and just pick all the initials and then create a sentence that is kind of fun to, to learn and that is easy to remember. Sometimes you can be naughty, say, because a lot of the mnemonics are quite naughty. That's, I think, our minds are quite naughty. Yeah, I guess so. That's why we easily remember. In a medical school, we usually, it's the easiest way to remember things when we have really naughty mnemonics. Okay, I think it's the best way. Definitely try to do it. Um, another way is to do flashcards. Fla the old flashcards always work for this. What I could suggest is that you write on one side the landmark, and on the back of the card you can say whether it's ventral whether it, or anterior or whether it's posterior and so on. That's a good way to also do it. Now, another way I could also suggest, I'm going back now to the website. I can show you here at the website. And going back here to the dashboard, another cool way you could learn the landmarks. We have been adding more stuff here to the basics. Notice here on terminology or under the terminology chapter, you have now these two training units, the female surface anatomy and the male body surface anatomy. These are essentially uh, training units or study units where we're just going to start learning about these landmarks. Now, if I show you here, pick the atlas, where you can see them all listed, you can see that we have here all the landmarks highlighted. And notice, of course, that some of them are anterior, like the acromioclavicular joint uh, seen here. But of course, this could really help you as well. Uh, list those first, and then if you want to do the mnemonics. And another thing you can do if I go back is show you here the quiz. You can then take the quiz because the way we do that we build the quizzes is so that you have fun doing it and memorize things easily. And you can, as I'm starting here the quiz, you can pick say level, say level one. We're going to start things easy so you can see a bit of how our quizzes work and how they could help you learn the interior landmarks. And notice that here on this easy quiz, or this easy exercise that we have, it shows two images on the top and two images on the bottom. So we're essentially, as the name indicates, easy exercise. We're giving you already the, the answers here on the bottom, so you can then learn how to identify. This is the very first step. So if you're looking for which image shows the acromioclavicular joint, then you can just pick this one because it identifies with this, uh, this one here, the supraclavicular fossa, and so on. And as you can see, as we go through these quizzes, you can see that they will be 
adapting to your own level. So you, you start at easy, as we can see here. Oh, almost got it wrong, because as I talk, it's very hard for me to multitask. But anyway, you have here the, the spine of the scapula. We're still on the easy, but bear with me so I can then maybe show you the next one. As you can see, we're getting we go from easy all the way to then more difficult exercises, as you can see here. But as you saw in the beginning, you can pick the level of the exercises you want to do. So it's a very fun and interactive way for you to learn these landmarks. That's what I wanted to say. And you can definitely use our quizzes to do so. Now I'm going to try to go back to the going back here to the to myself again wearing pajamas now what i'm going to do is show you the next question that we have again with the screen here to show you the written question now the next one comes from joanna from sweden hey um uh, this premium thing is it anything like tests for free month or something like that well, essentially, what she's asking is whether we offer at CanHub um, different trials. Uh, so a trial period, if you would like to try the different content that we offer. We, at the moment, what we do is when you register, you're going to find uh, different content for free that you can try. So all the different types of content that we offer, you're going to be able to find on the website. So every th time you see something with a tag free or premium, you can try everything on the premium, uh, on the free side for free, of course. And that way you get a sense of what we offer, of the different videos, how the videos look like, or, or what the, the quizzes feel like as you take them, and then make a, a more informed decision as you decide to go for premium. Another thing I would like to also add, important thing, is that if you get premium, we're going, we have a seven day money back guarantee. So you are more than welcome to try premium also and get to, if you're not sure after trying the free stuff that we, uh, the free content that we offer, you can then use the, the seven a day period to access everything and find out whether KenHub is the right tool for you and and then make that commitment with a bit more information, with a bit more more experience with a product so you want to be sure and that if you're not happy after a few days then just let us know we always welcome feedback because it's important for us to improve things as well and we're happy to then uh to give your money back after that or before that seven day period now i can also take this time to quickly show you here on the website uh, where you can find some of the uh, the premium content. Let me just go back to uh, the dashboard. And here, if you go to the basics, you can then see that the premium or the uh, the premium stuff is going to be highlighted in green. As uh, sorry, the free stuff is highlighted in green, while the premium stuff is then highlighted here in red. And if you pick, say, by content type, if we click here on the quizzes, you can also find out some of the things that are that are then free and premium. Here on this account, I just noticed that we don't have the tags here for this specific account because it's a premium account, as you can see. But you should find uh, these uh, tags around here. So the free tags and the premium tags should be around here. And then you can see, you can try the different quizzes that are free before you commit to premium. Now, this is it for the questions. But before I leave, I will leave you with a question as well that you can then answer by writing below the comments here on the video on YouTube, because this video is going to be available on YouTube if you weren't able to join us today. Now, the question is, what other type of content would you like to see at KenHub other than anatomy? We're always expanding and always looking for other topics to cover, other subjects to cover. So if you have an idea of something 
something that you would like to see, write down below the comments and I'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. So thank you so much for joining us and I hope you have a fantastic weekend and join us for the next webinar then. I'll see you then.